Okay, so here we go. Same wad for everyone today. And this one is going to be called Hanna Barbera. Barbara. Okay, we are doing the famous one of the girls' workouts, Barbara. We did that, I think, week three of when Whitey's Fitness at Home started. We may have retested it once more. I'm not sure about that. So, how Barbara works, um, we get our timer going and we count up. And you're probably going to want to put 25 minutes on the clock because this is a long one today, okay? So, how this works, buzzer goes. We have got a few movements here. We have 20 bent over rows. We have 30 push-ups. We have 40 sit-ups. And then we have 50 air squats. Then you will rest for three minutes and you will do that four more times. You are going to do five rounds of that work today but you always get a three minute rest in between each round. So I would really like to see some scores come in based on how long each round took, okay? This is a great workout, uh, requires little to no equipment. If we don't have any equipment at home at all, uh, we can just go get a book bag and put some textbooks in there. We can go grab a bag of potatoes, right? So how it's gonna work is we're gonna start it over with double dumbbell bent over rows, okay? So we're here, neutral spine, we're pulling that, those dumbbells into our midsection, okay? Kind of keep a soft knee, 20 reps. If you are using a book bag, uh, and I've done this in the past before I got some heavier dumbbells, I just took two lighter dumbbells and stuck them in a bag with some textbooks in there, wrapped them up in a towel, and it's bent over rows. So we're here, and we're pulling those in, okay? Just like that. So we do our 20 bent over rows. We immediately get down to the ground and it becomes 30 push-ups. So our push-ups are here, right? I put my hands under my shoulders, chest meets ground, and I'm pushing those out for 30 reps, okay? Strict push-ups are not our thing. That's completely fine. Put those knees to ground and we're doing 30 reps. Again, Full range of motion, chest meets ground, arms to lockout. That's a full round push up, okay? So 30 of those. My tip, probably the most important tip of the day, when you're doing those, do not go to failure in push ups. Break up your rep count early. So if you can do 10 from your knees, no problem, but number 11 or 12 is getting difficult, I would go sets of five, go six sets of five, Get back on your knees, shake out those arms, go back and do another set of five. Once we hit failure, it's all bad from there, okay? So, once we're done those 30 push-ups, we are here and we're going into 40 sit-ups. So, feet are together, okay? My chin, chest, that distance stays the same. I'm sitting those up, right? Touching my feet because I want to make sure that my shoulders make that hip crease every time. Now, if keeping our feet together isn't gonna happen, that's completely cool. Hook them under some dumbbells, your couch, your stairs, same thing. Still making those sure that those shoulders get to that hip crease. And as well, when we're doing that, maybe go a little slower there and just lift slowly so that way we don't go through the raspberry bush, okay? After that, we are going to step ourselves into 50 air squats. So our air squats, right? We did these in warm up. We're here and we're full depth every time, full extension at the top, 50 air squats. Once you're done all that, you've got a three minute rest, three minute rest, bang, the timer goes, you do it again. Five rounds, score is total time. 25 minutes is probably going to be within the range, 20 to 25 minutes maybe some 30s. Push your pace hard because push-ups are probably, your push-ups are probably going to be your slowest movement of the bunch in there and you're going to get three minutes to recover in between. So push hard for all those reps. Once you've recovered from there in those three minutes, hammer again and I'd love to see what the times are across all five rounds and see how consistent we can be. Good luck with Hannah Barbera or Barbara.